Okay, let's get back to the basics. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to optimize your videos in YouTube so that you can get found by people searching in your niche, okay? Essentially, that's what happens. People go to Google, they're looking for how to uh, swim in a moat or how to build a boat or how to uh, crack a code on a safe. Well, I hope they're not doing that one, but those are things that people are looking for. And if you are titling and optimizing your videos properly, you will get found when those people are searching for those things. Now, why would your videos actually show up? Because Google favors video content, but not just any video content. They love video because it has that engagement tool, but they love YouTube videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how can, you can use Google's keyword tool and YouTube's keyword tool to combine together to make sure that your videos are found when people are searching for whatever your niche is about. So let's actually dive in. Let me share my screen and I'm gonna show you over the shoulder kind of how you would do this with Google and YouTube. And we're gonna pick a, uh, a keyword phrase. Now I had a few people that asked me about some, but I'm actually gonna use one in particular. I'm gonna use, um, we're gonna start off with how to sing. Ah. Okay, see how I did? I just say saying after I talked about the keyword. Anyway, all right, let's get in and I'll show you how you can actually optimize how to sing. Oh, stop doing that, Casey. Here we are in how to sing. We're in Google. And remember, we're gonna do a Google search and a YouTube search to see how we can rank our videos. And we wanna use the phrase how to sing. Now it's kind of cool if we look at this, how to sing has uh, 565 million results. That means there are 565 million other people who are trying to compete for this keyword to get found, okay? They want their videos to get found um, or, their, or their blog posts or whatever, any bit of content to get found for how to sing, okay? Now, if you'll notice right off the bat, check it out. Two YouTube videos are right at the very top of this list and they're actually of the same guy. Um, and it's because he has how to sing literally in his phrase, right? And if you notice, um, all the rest are text content. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go into Google's keyword tool because what we want to find is we wanna find out um, what people are searching for, okay? And how many people are searching for how to sing. Now here we are in Google's keyword tool. All you have to do is type in Google keyword tool into Google and you'll find this. This will actually pop up. Anyway, now what you do here is you can actually add keyword phrases of what you think people would be searching for in your niche and you can add them in and then see what kind of competition and what kind of search results you're getting. So here right now, right off the bat, we can see that, check it out, how to sing gets 16,600 global monthly searches. That is a huge amount of search results. So low means that there's not a lot of competition inside Google for how to sing, okay? Now, if we continue down, how to sing good, not a lot of competition there either. How to sing online, not a lot of com competition there. That means that very few people are trying to position themselves with that keyword, how to sing. Uh, and I know it does say here, um, 565 million other results, but I'm gonna tell you right now, based on how many people are searching for it, that's not a huge number of results. And I'm gonna show you how you can get to the first page of Google with those results and using another methodology that I created as well. That's inside Google. Now let's go to YouTube because I wanna take you into YouTube's uh, keyword tool. But before we do, let's go into YouTube and type in how to sing. So here we are in YouTube and you can see that the guy here, this same gentleman, is at the, one of the first top points for this particular video. Now, I also want you to notice up here that there are 16 million results, meaning that's 16, other, 16 million other people that are positioning themselves for how to sing within YouTube. You see, YouTube and Google have two different search algorithms, and when we're trying to uh, optimize a video, we want to make sure that we're getting optimized for both, not only YouTube, but Google as well. So, how to sing, uh, you can see that it has results, and he's right at the very top. Now, when we're doing searched results for YouTube, we would go into YouTube's keyword tool. And the way you would do that is you'd simply go into Google and type in YouTube keyword tool and it'll pop up, I swear, just do it that way. 
So what you can do right now is you can actually type in how to sing in the keyword phrase right here, and then it will give you keyword ideas for getting ranked inside YouTube. How to sing, this is actually great, but I have this checked, which means it only will show what the keyword is in the box, but I'm gonna want them to give me keyword ideas, so we're gonna click out of the box, and now we're gonna check it out here. So how to sing, we have 116, thousand searches on how to sing which is great that's a lot of search results meaning uh, uh, that that's a lot of people inside youtube that are searching for that particular phrase uh, also singing lessons or uh um let's see if there's any more sing 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 now here's a cool thing that you can actually do instead of using description word or phrase go to click youtube video id or url and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this guy's youtube video right here so I'm going to copy this, and we're going to go back in to YouTube's keyword tool. I'm going to paste it in, and it's going to dump out some keyword ideas, right? Check that out. Okay, so this gets us 116,000 results, and these are all the keywords that here he's using. Sing gets 1.6 million searches, uh, how to sing well. You know, all, all these. Now, let me just tell you, not enough data simply means that there's 5,000 searches or less happening on that particular video, okay? That's what that simply means. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna save this, this keyword data. We're gonna move it all over into uh, right here, the selected keywords, and then we're gonna download um, this into a CSV file, and we're gonna save it to our desktop. You see it's saving. Now, we're also, by the, in that same respect, going to go through and click on these and save these onto um, our desktop as well. So let's click these. Now, what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna take all of these keywords and I'm gonna put them um, into a, a CSV file. So at this point, I'm gonna download all of these and see it has all search results. I'm actually gonna download that and put it into a CSV so I can have those keywords later as well. So here's something very cool. So how to sing, how to sing good, how to sing online, they all have low competition. Um, but learn how to sing, uh, uh, singing lessons online has a high competition. And that simply is because um, people that are, are wanting to sell their courses online, um, they are obviously wanting to get ranked on singing lessons online. Singing lessons online, if someone's searching for singing lessons online, they're ready to buy. So that's why the competition is high, right? Okay, so. But here's something very cool. If you wanna get ranked um, in, you, in Google for a high competition keyword, you can do the inverse by going into YouTube and making a video um, that's specific to these higher competition keywords so that you use what I call the Google side door effect for YouTube video ranking um, to get your video for a high competition keyword into Google. So what we would do there is we'd take a look, we'd look at singing lessons online. So that has 14,000 global monthly searches. So I'm gonna take that phrase, check it out, online singing lessons, not enough data. And let's see this one. Singing lessons online, also not enough data. But that's actually good. Do you understand what I'm telling you as to why that's good? Singing lessons online and not having a lot of data on YouTube means that there's not a high search volume on YouTube, which also means that chances are you can get found faster uh, in YouTube, which in turn will bring you into Google. So what I wanna show you now is singing lessons online and, the, and how many people are trying to get that same result. So here we have, this is how to sing, right? Has 16 million results. But now let's take a look at singing Lessons Online. Singing Lessons Online has 162,000 results, which means it's gonna be easier to get to the top pages of YouTube for Singing Lessons Online, even though Google has comp more competition based on the keyword analysis here for Singing Lessons Online here. There's more competition, but you can beat out all that competition by making videos that target singing lessons online so that 
you're not only trying to get to the first page of YouTube, but Google as well. If I go in, singing lessons online. Check it out. He's popping up. She's popping up. That's great, you see? And what they're doing is that their videos are beating out all of this other competition. See all this competition right here, Singing Lessons Online? It's, it's, it has high, high competition. Where is it? High, high competition right here. But a video is gonna have less competition because of the results right there, okay? So that your videos can get ranked for high competition Google keywords. Does that make sense? So I, I, what I'm showing you is that if there is high competition in Google, you can use a low competition keyword in YouTube to get ranking in YouTube that will then move you through the side door into the first page of Google. And you'll beat out all these other people that are trying to get um, singing lessons online by having your video show up first, okay? And vice versa, meaning that if a keyword has high competition in YouTube, such as how to sing, that has 16 million results there. That means that a lot of people are trying to get ranked for the same um, same uh, keyword. Well, what you can do is you can still use this phrase, but then the chance of you getting to the first page of Google is much higher because there's less competition for Google. Okay, does that make sense? I'm hoping this makes sense. So. Okay, let's stop there. I hope this was a good amount of information to kind of absorb. I know it was quite a bit of information in regards to understanding keyword analysis. But as you can see, there are a couple of uh, schools of thought and uh, different methodologies that we're, we were discussing here where um, you can strive to have high search volume um, and low competition, but also um, you're, you can also compete with a high competitive keyword by using and optimizing videos inside YouTube, right? So we showed a couple of strategies that all pertain to keyword analysis. The bottom line is that you want to find keywords that people are searching for. So if if those if if you see keywords that have search results either in YouTube or Google, you want to optimize your videos according to that even if it's a high competition or low competition. So in the next post, I'm gonna do a post in about a couple days and we're gonna actually optimize a video. We're gonna take all that keyword analysis that we just did and we're gonna optimize a video that I've already done all about how to sing. It's gonna be how to sing, actually it's gonna be how to sing high or how to sing a high note, okay? I used to be a singer so um, I've, I've made a video but this video is more of an experiment to see if we can get to the first page of Google where I'm gonna attempt to either get high ranking in YouTube or Google with this video. Now in order to get access to this training I'm actually going to be offering it up to those who are signed up to my vid traffic conversion early bird list. Okay and if you don't know what that is I have a new course that's just coming out pretty soon and I'm signing up people in advance, early, early birds. Uh, and early birds are going to be getting discounts and prizes and you also get this video optimizing workshop, okay? This next post, this next video that I'm gonna be rolling out is for those people who sign up to the link below which is my new course which is all about video which is all about google plus google hangouts and so many other things that are all about using the power of video and webinars to close that gap of traffic and conversion and as you know i love youtube so a lot of it is going to be about youtube uh, a ton of different strategies you can learn more about it by clicking the link below that will take you in and you can sign up to get the discount when I open the course up. The course is gonna be at a certain price, but I'm gonna open it up to the early birds 24 hours in advance at a discounted price. So if you're interested to learn more about that, go ahead and click the link below, sign up, and when you do sign up, you are going to get uh, notified when this new video is ready to go. All right, thank you so much for your time today, and I will see you in the next day or so. Take care, bye.